apologies to whatever his name was. Uh, apparently, I was homophobic to him. Unsubscribe. Go away. If you're watching this show and you're perpetually offended by things I'm saying, you may want to just stop watching. Like, genuinely. Clap if you think they should suffer, somebody said. Just so over these fucking people. Shut the fuck up. Shut up! The callers are really the victims here. <laughs> It's painful to see people say really mean things about you, like that you're homophobic or racist or whatever, when it's like, I just, I don't see it. Well, they clearly want to suffer because they're watching this podcast yeah, every week. We don't want them to suffer. That's why they need to just... That's why you need to stop watching. go away. Yeah. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux. Okay, Ethan Klein's apology, video apology, finally came out today. Shook, girl, and I have a lot to say. You already know you come here for all the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. His apology, in my opinion, started out very weak. Then it got very strong, and it should have ended right there. But it kept going, and it went off the rails, literally. And I was like, what are you... Oh, my God. It, it, then it got kind of bad. But uh, whatever. We're, we're, we're going to talk about it. I want to say... But you know I have the receipts, girl, right here in my little purse. I'm going to open it up see what we got here oh yes today's sponsor bands global the house girl this is it right here this is their brand new thc zero gummies i also have delta eight gummies go check those out too but yeah guys if you don't know Vance global is a small company doing big things i put their website down below and i just have to say this guys when it comes to gummies like people always say oh i got that good stuff and you're like oh well what is it and they're like oh it, i just got that good stuff no no no, no. Vance global has a sheet of everything every ingredient certified paperwork behind it you know what you're getting into and not only just gummies they also have so much more over there. I'm not going to tell you, so I want you to check it out for yourself. But I do want to say this, guys. Use my code. If you're going to shop Bands Global, they really, really like it. When you use my code, Rich Loves, I want you to get a discount. Don't pay full price. This is it. This is a partnership. I want to save you money. So if you're into edibles, you're into gummies, and all the other stuff that I have going on over there, because I have a lot more, I really do think you're going to like some of the stuff you see over there. So check out their website, use code RICHLUG, save you some coin at checkout. And I know you're gonna sit there and say, oh, well, you know, I have gummies from, from this place and that place. I'm like, okay, try this one. I really do think you're gonna like it a lot. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. And when you try it, don't take the whole gummy, girl. Maybe take a little piece and then kind of like, you know, tread lightly, you know, take a little small piece, give it a while. The last thing you wanna do is take too many because you'll because you'll go for a loop. You know what I'm talking about? Thank you, Vance Global, for sponsoring this. We're gonna be talking about them all month long. It's not the last you heard of Vance Global. All right, guys, so definitely check them out. I'll put the link down below. Use code RISLUCK, save point at checkout. Let's get on with this drama. Woo! Girl, yes, ma'am. It is spring has sprung. It is hotter than a hooker in hell in Texas, girl. I'm telling you, honey. Drama with Ethan Klein has, has heated up, okay? I want to read this statement uh, on Twitter and it says this, if you're charging a payroll for fans to be able to live chat on your streams, you better be willing to take the feedback. A3 Productions, these weren't trolls, they were your biggest fans paying money every month to be able to interact with you and your employee told them to STFU, shut up, basically. And that's true. And the guy, Dan, I believe it's Dan, when he said, oh, sh shut up, unsubscribe. Honestly, the fact that he's on the show today, it's um, I feel he should have been reprimanded. Two weeks off, no pay, something. Because here you have Ethan Klein who's built this fan base and then you have an employee telling him to shut up and unsubscribe. I, to this day, that would never sit right with me, right? And I do want to say this, the apology could have been a lot better. I expected a better apology from it. I really did. Right, it was good, but I thought it could have been a little better. And it's so interesting to see how people spin things because there's a part in the, I'm gonna roll you the apology. There's a part in it where he's like, what? You know, people are saying that I was making fun of the guy with the lisp. I didn't say that. And I'm like, girl, yes, you did the house. Up. Someone says, I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said, I don't, I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said, I don't During the show was mocking the caller's lisp. I don't know what the f you're talking about. That uh, did not happen. That did not happen. 
up. Someone says, I don't know what's so up. So disappointing. Someone said, Roll up. And if you're saying that happened, uh, you are either dumb or just being disingenuous. I up. Someone says, I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said, I Roll don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? I'm not going to get into it, Matt. <laughs> but I, but we all know which one you like, you prefer. <laughs> yeah, I think you probably do. Yeah, and that's... I, I heard it. It's like, what do you... And he's like, oh, but that happened before. And like, oh, girl, girl, no. It's so, like I said, Dan, I feel, is probably a nice guy, whatever. But just highly problem. Get him out of here. Book it to the back, girl. Two weeks off. You know, give him, write him up. The house. Why Ethan is keeping him around on that team, I don't understand. Ethan Klein, time and time again, literally last what last week, two weeks ago, whatever, he got canceled the house, lost even more subscribers because of the whole his take on Will Smith. It's like every time there's he he can't get a break to save his life. He's always losing subscribers all the time, and then he says, "Oh, y'all are just." You know, this podcast is just so controversial. If you can't take it, you need to just unsubscribe. You know, we've talked about hot topics, blah, blah, blah. I get that. But Dan is the issue, okay? And if you don't let go or reprimand some of these people, they're going to take you down with, with them. And I hate to see it. I hate to see it. His employees are going to drag him down. Dan does not know what it's like to be in Ethan's position. He wishes to sit up there and say, Shut the F up, unsubscribe to the... Um, imagine if I told you guys, imagine if somebody called me, right? Imagine somebody called me and they said, uh, here, um, Hi, how are you? Yes, um, long time listener, first time caller. Yeah, go ahead. I, I don't like how you do this. Shut the F up, unsubscribe. It's just so rude. I would never do that. And so why would I let an employee do that? That really upset me. I have the receipts. We're going to roll you their apology. And honestly, if you want my honest review of like what I really think about the situation, it could have been a lot better. It started off weak. It got strong. It should have ended strong. But they went on and on and on and on, and they could have cut it. They could have nipped it in the butt a long time ago. It was just a mess. But I, of course, girl, of course. It doesn't matter what I have to say or think about, about this. You know, I am not. I am not the gatekeeper. You guys are. You guys are the one who give these people views, subscribers, and put them in power. So I want to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below. So pop off. Here we go. Roll it. And I made uh, insensitive remarks and jokes to him. Oh, God, my name is trending. I told you it happened. I'll be honest. When I talked to the caller, I don't know why. I just couldn't really understand. But after... I, after the episode ended, I talked to some people that I trust their opinion, who have good inputs about this stuff. And they explained to me kind of what I said was offensive and, uh, or they explained it to me in a way that I understood and kind of what I said wasn't appropriate and all this. And, you know, they, they, rec they explained to me that I should probably apologize and explained why. And I thought that, you know, I understood. So this is my heartfelt apology, which I'll read to you now. <clears throat> after consulting with people I trust, who I value their judgment. To my LGBTQ plus fans, I am very sorry for comments on today's show. The sexualization of gay men and grouping of tops and bottoms is a stereotype that I'll be trying to unlearn. And apologies to the caller too, who I shouldn't have pressed inappropriately. I hope you guys know I always mean well. So that's my apology. Some people accept it, some people don't. That's fine. <clears throat> Keemstar, of course, has my number. Keemstar, a great ally to the uh, LGBT. Absolutely. Club. You know, this 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 man has on the always been on the right side of things. So Keemstar is addressing his one LGBTQ fan. He says to my LGBTQ plus fans, he's not sorry, just sorry he got caught. Bro, I'm on a live show. What do you mean I got caught? Caught you. Got you. I'm on my own live show. I got you. It wasn't like a hot mic moment. I'm here. Right, right. I have been caught in 4K. Keemstar, who... Oh, oh, is this a new one? I haven't seen this. But I, I, having said all that, you guys... And what I'm about to say now... Having said all that, which I genuinely feel, and especially, you know, I was very insensitive to the caller, 
the whole pushing, the comment specifically where I was like, I could tell what you are based on your voice or whatever. Very, very gross and bad, okay? Like, I totally acknowledge that. Um, and the whole bottom diaper thing, okay, I get, I, I understand now, like, what I said was offensive, but there are certain things I just got to be real about, I got to speak my mind on, because as you guys know, the minute I stop speaking my mind and being genuine is when the show fucking dies, okay? Now, I've been forceful, I've been emphatic that... <sighs> Like, I don't know, two weeks ago, I got semi-canceled for the Will Smith thing. I was emphatic that no matter what, I'm going to always speak my mind. I'm going to be true to myself. And I'm not going to let any, anybody or anyone kind of uh, change course for, for what I think is right. And so there are some things about this that really rub me the wrong way. <clears throat> Let's start off, first of all... <clears throat> with what Dan said. Dan told everyone to fuck off and unsubscribe. I understand that made some of you guys angry, but I have to defend, first of all, a lot of people have been calling Dan a horrible homophobe, and that's just fucked. That's just outrageous. Anyone who watched the show knows that Dan's a good man, and I'm not gonna fucking stand by and let people malign Dan like that. That's just insane. I gotta stand up for my boy here. You know, so much so that Dan, poor Dan just made a Twitter. How long ago was it? <laughs> Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. You yeah. deleted Twitter, right? I'm, I'm out. You logged in today. I mean, I, I, was, I was sort of uh, harangued into uh, making one anyway. But you were enjoying it. You were tweeting. I was enjoying it, but yeah. The thing is, is that I, I, I get uh, very argumentative with people and, um, you know, and I do want to say, I, I appreciate you saying that, Ethan. I do think that um, th I did not articulate my thoughts very well the other day, and I, I apologize to everybody that, you know, it, I think a lot of people that I was not referring to thought I was referring to them. Here's what yeah. I want to say, Dan, before you get too deep into that apology. Okay, sure. I do want to give you the chance to speak, but I just want to be fair to Dan because I'm going to say things that I don't think he'll say for himself. Mm -mm. Every week... We get fucking canceled and called out for something that we're not good enough for. We're not woke enough. Be better. It's always be better. Do better. I feel like an abused fucking stepson sometimes, you know, trying to navigate this space. It's like every week, be better. You got to do better. You got to be better. Um, I'm doing my best here, guys. Like y'all can't. Fu I'm getting like woke whiplash. And it's like last week. Or with the Will Smith thing, or there was people like, well, sometimes the people take it too far, but this time it's right. This time it's serious. Or last time it's fucking serious. And it's like, you got, you guys got to fucking like understand how intense it feels on this side when every week people are whipping, turning something we said into evidence that we are intolerant pieces of shit. You know, or it's always like, oh, the veil is down. I always knew they were racist, homophobes. Oh, we can't pretend now to be woke and all this shit. And Dan is fucking sick of that shit. And, and, and understandably, and we all are. So his snap judgment is like, you know, fuck you guys. Just shut up. And, you know, people are calling me homophobic. Dan knows I'm not homophobic. Okay, he's standing up for me, which, which he's being a good friend and a good a, a supporter. So, you know... So I totally understand Dan's reaction to say, you know, just shut the fuck up and unsubscribe, which, you know, obviously he was heated at the moment. But too heated. Understand okay, too heated, okay. But understandably, you know, it's 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 not sometimes it just doesn't feel reasonable with the woke whiplash we get. And uh I understand cuz like I'm sorry, but me and Dan both know we're not homophobic, okay? And I just refused, I refused that title. I do, outright, for both of us. It's just not the case. Go ahead, Dan, if you want to say anything. Oh, I mean, yeah, it, it again, I think that uh, a lot of, well, so there's two main things that people were really mad at me for. One was what you're talking about, um, which, uh, 
again, I, I, I think I overreacted. I don't know. It was just a mood thing. And like you said, it, it, it really wasn't even about that particular thing. But, I mean, anybody that frequents our subreddit or goes into the comment section of YouTube uh, knows what you're talking about. And, and you know, it, it gets exhausting to, to just feel like you're... Every week, people are saying, you're not good enough. People are gunning Be better. You. Yeah, so... Be better. Yeah. It's like, and, I'm trying. Yeah, and I was trying to stand up for you a little bit. Um, I am glad that you acknowledge, though, that, you know, especially I, the the thing with the caller and, and pushing him when he had established a boundary, uh, I, I didn't like that that happened either. And, and I'm glad that you see that that was too far and that you accept that. The other criticism that I have been getting, which is... Really, the reason that I was like, you know what, this whole Twitter thing, is that I, at one point during the show, was mocking the caller's lisp. I don't know what the f you're talking about. That uh, did not happen. That did not happen. And if you're saying that happened, uh, you are either dumb or just being disingenuous. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. There was a moment... People said you were mocking... Yeah, there was a moment late in the show when we were talking about... All, somebody had left a, I believe it was after somebody left a super chat telling us that we suck or whatever. Um, and, you know, I, I think I did a voice that was more so just like a annoying whiner voice, you know, was sort of like I was mocking. Up. Someone says, I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said, I don't. And somehow people connected that to me mocking the caller's lisp, which the caller happened like two hours prior to that. So it, it's really a leap to think that I was referencing that you know again it, it, that just that does not feel like people are being genuine i don't know how you can watch that and up someone says i don't know what's up so disappointing someone said I grow up jesus I, great dan, dan i don't know what's up with ethan today but something's off bad vibes this episode shut the fuck up the unsubscribe and make that conclusion if it came across that way to people and you genuinely thought that's what i was doing i i, I apologize that that was not my intent by any means. Well, part of my so, problem, Dan, is that people are making, turning it and making a lot of bad faith arguments that are just total bullshit. Right. Yeah. No, so that, that, that has the, the overreacting and telling people to fuck off, you know, I accept that that was, that was over the line. The other stuff, uh, I, I don't even know. One thing that I that. didn't appreciate that a lot of people were saying about me is like, the only reason you felt comfortable asking him if he's a top or bottom is because he's gay. That's bullshit. I ask everybody uncomfortable questions. And that was always. That was that, the point that I articulated very poorly, I admit, but that this this is this is what you get with Ethan, man. Like this is was, he pushes boundaries and he pushes buttons and it's not targeted. Yeah, that was one of the top comments on that video too. Ethan is indiscriminate in who he pushes. <laughs> oh, exactly. okay, that's yeah. good. And you can think that, but, but you can't. But you can't, dude, don't you, think that it was targeted. It, you think that like, oh well, I'm just targeting this man because he's gay. That's fucking bullshit. Okay, anyone who watched this show. As that comment well stated, it says that I'm indiscriminate with my inappropriate questions. <laughs> yes. That's how I can talk to people on this show. Yeah. I find it interesting to make people squirm a little bit or make uncomfortable, ask the questions that you know you shouldn't, right? In real life, I'm not like that. But on the show, when I'm trying to fucking entertain you, this is an entertainment show, by the way, I like to create these situations. I think they're interesting. And oftentimes people love you for it. And But, you know, you're not perfect. But there's time. there's people that aren't familiar with me or the show, and they see that, and then they make this whole grand fucking thesis about how I'm only comfortable doing that because he's gay. And that, I'm just, I'm sorry, but I reject. I have to. Fucking, I'm not going to just sit there and let people say that shit. With, uncontested. Yeah. And I'm sorry to do this, but this was the, like, colossal bad take of colossal bad takes, in my opinion. Oh, my God. So bar. Get me out of here, girl. Let me always think about that. Did you see? I, watching it, watching it. And I hate that I'm this person. I am so gullible and like easily manipulated. I know that. That's why I protect my space and I protect my peace and I set boundaries. These I try to. In the beginning, I was so frustrated and angry, right? When it first happened. Then you see them tap dance their way out of it. And you're like, okay, I get it. I see their perspective. I can resonate with that. And then you're like, what? No, that doesn't make sense to me there. And then at the end of it, I'm just kind of left with, I really don't know. 
Like, if you guys want my honest, true, 100% opinion, I'm still processing the whole entire thing. And I need time to do that. And it's why we, and hopefully you guys are much better than I am and can leave a comment so I can get comments saved my life in this video. But I really want to know what you guys think about that. I really do. Very interesting. This, it's a, very interesting to watch. Even from like a, a parasocial standpoint, a psychological standpoint, a janitorial standpoint, <laughs> PR standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just like, just to watch it and see how these people interact. I think Dan, I, I stand by what I say. Dan should be recommended, recommended, how do you say that word? Recommended, I don't know. Two weeks off, no pay, the house. Give him a write up. Literally, because you're not gonna about to tell my subscribers shut the f up, unsubscribe, and then I lose ten thousand subscribers because of what you said. Up. Someone says I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said I grow up. Jesus I, Christ. And Dan, I unsubscribe. Go away. These fucking people. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. The callers are really the victims here. <laughs> ten, and then Ethan Klein is just like okay with that. That doesn't make any sense to me. I would not be okay if I lost 10,000 subscribers and no, girl, I can't even get a subscriber to save my life, much less a like or a comment or a share and then to lose 10,000 subscribers just be okay with it? No, Dan needs to be two weeks off, no pay, borderline fired in the house. No, I just don't get it. I love Ethan, peace and love. The, the apology started off very weak it got very strong and i was like yes 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 and then they went overboard literally off the rails and then dan over here spinning some lie about how i didn't say that <laughs> i didn't say that's not what i meant i'm like girl shut up yes you did i heard it up someone says i don't know what's up so disappointing someone said I grow don't up <laughs> i didn't say that's not what i meant i'm like the other criticism that i have been getting which is Really, the reason that I was like, you know what, this whole Twitter thing, is that I, at one point during the show, was mocking the caller's lisp. I don't know what the f you're talking about. That uh, did not happen. That did not happen. Up. Someone says, I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said, I don't And if you're saying that happened, uh, you are either dumb or just being disingenuous. I up. Someone says, I don't know what's up. So disappointing. Someone said, I don't, I, I don't know what you're talking about up someone says i don't know what's up. so disappointing someone said I don't girl shut up yes you did i heard it do i need to play it back for you girl are you serious and then you're gonna turn around and be like but if that's just how you feel i just want girl I, I i can't i can't deal right now i can't deal let me tell you what ethan klein needs to like really needs to put on that put that guy on like two weeks suspension or something because Ethan Klein, literally, stop, stop. And I get, I get that the show is controversial, it's edgy, it's fire, it's hot topics. I get it, I live for it, I love it. But for the employee to sit there and just be like, shut the F up, unsubscribe if you don't like this. Girl, girl, and every time Ethan Klein takes a caller, there's some drama. Oh my, I don't get it. The caller responded in the comments and said, uh, we have, I have that receipt. I think I have that receipt right here. The caller chimed in, literally, and here's what the caller had to say. The caller said, the initial one, start all the drama, I'm seriously the caller and I've spent the afternoon defending Dan on Twitter. He's a good man. Well, I'm glad you see it that way. I am glad you see it that way. But I don't. And we can agree to disagree. Dan, it's not okay for you to tell people, shut the F up, unsubscribe. It's not even your channel. Horrific stereotype about gay men, I think, is like that they're p words or groomers like shit you hear from real people right now today in florida saying like uh they're saying oh you can't talk about gay people in school because they're grooming your children that's horrific let's know. check our tone a little bit did i really perpetuate a horrific stereotype i don't i don't know i just i like if what i did was horrific then what is it they're doing like can we have some some levels here <laughs> right some some we need some levels. Yeah. Am I per, you know, let's say, okay, what I did was horrific. Top, bottom stuff, whatever. A, a joke in poor taste. Genuinely, I would like to hear what Kat describes as, like, every mainstream conservative describing gay people as groomers. Is, if, so what is that? We got it. We need some levels here. 
But okay, that's not even the problem. She says, uh, perpetuate horrific stereotypes about gay men is a choice. So she's saying, <clears throat> I've gone out into the world. I have recruited queer and gay fan base. To, and then I put them in a room. And, and now I'm, per, I'm going, you're fucking the worst. So I've, I'm taking them and I'm beating them up. <clears throat> how, how can you watch the show if you think that about me? And this is what I'm saying. Some people, I think, are too sensitive to watch this show. So I'm never going to be, I'm trying my best. I'm always trying my best. And I hope you guys know that. I always mean while well, I'm trying my best. But if you think that I'm this horrible, this is the worst shit. If this is who you think I am, you watching this show to purposefully and knowingly recruit a queer and gay fan base just to shit all over them and perpetuate horrific stereotypes about gay men is a choice. So there you have it. I am choosing to. I'm sorry, but this is an insane thing to say. Pub, I mean, I'm sorry, but no, I just completely refute it. Uh, without reservation, just 100%. And I'm sorry, Kat, to put you on blast, but you know what? I've saw, I saw this echoed, I read the comments, and I personally just found it a horrific accusation. And it's, and it's gross. It's just gross. And I don't even know what it means. I'm still baffled by what she means by purposefully and knowingly recruit a queer and gay fan base. What the fuck are you, what does that mean? What have I done to recruit gay fans? I, I don't know. I, I, How do you even do that? I don't know what that means, genuinely, either. Um, How? I mean, we, we do have a significant uh, fan base. Um, like, uh, but I, I don't, it, it, we didn't go out of our way to recruit them. I I'm think happy they, they're, they're just, here. Yeah, I'm, we're very happy they're here, and I I'm glad I, that they enjoy the show. Uh, 100%. <laughs> I'm so happy. Listen, I don't want anyone to stop watching the show, okay? And just make that very clear. And the people who were offended, who were able to continue watching the show, and to understand that, you know, we're doing our best here, and we mean well, that's fucking awesome. I love you guys. But, um... I just, I don't know. I found this take to be just a little bit vile, to be honest. I, I don't know. But I have no problem with Kat, and I don't know why she's got to take it, like, got to go nuclear with it. But there you go. I mean, she's been on the show, you know, friend of the show, apparently. Well, apparently, or was, I don't know. I mean, she's a critic of, of this space, uh, you know, and that's that's what she specializes in. She writes on it. And certainly she's welcome to have her opinion and voice it. But, well, but, yeah, of course. But, but yeah, I mean, in this case, I, I don't know. It just seemed, like you said, well, it's like didn't you need said, to go nuke that, that hard with it. Seems a little overboard. Well, it's like you said, she's a critic. She, this is her specialty. And so I feel the need to respond to such a strong, strong accusation. That had some steam to it. You know, I'm sorry, but cat i don't know what to say painful so there's that you know um i have some notes here there's just a lot of stuff i want to talk about um you know and a little and you know i i don't want to go part of me from this like woke whiplash i i I do feel like there's a little bit of like the left eating themselves because if cat really what we're best at <laughs> yeah I mean the left I mean, really eats itself that's a long running thing. And, and 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 it's and it, it's actually it's really painful to me because if cat thinks I'm that big of an enemy we can never be allied can never be on the same team as her and just going through this these past couple months of like every week something happening, it's like it really makes me understand how people like Tim Pool and Steven Crowder and Dave Rubin and all these fucking goons on the right that are just vile freaks that, you know, I despise on many levels. Uh, I understand how they exist and why people why so many people watch them is because they get tired of being called racist and homophobic. And uh, they say, you know, screw this, I'm going to go hang out with these fucking guys. And it, it does radicalize them, because once you, you roll in that crew, it's hard to get out, right? It's hard to get out. 
I'm not. I, I think that those people were always spineless, and that's you know. I, but the audience, there's there there is like a certain thing. Like it'd be so easy for me now to be like, go on Tim Pool or whatever, because they always invite me on now whenever this shit happens. But like Ben Shapiro used to always try to get me to come on a show every time I got canceled, and then talk about how woke culture is the fucking uh, you know ruining yeah. society. I never did. I always said fuck you, you little bitch ass <laughs> weasel, because he's a piece of shit, and I'm never gonna. I'm never going to go that route, right? Yeah. and no. But it'd be so easy to go there and be like, you know what? Blah, blah, blah. Woke culture, this and that. And then the fa- you get new fans. You get a lot of new fans. And then all of a sudden, you know, you got to start catering to them. And you get sucked in. And once you go against them, because they're, they're just as bad as, like, the ultra woke. They have these, the dogma that you don't fucking cross, too. Well, you're right. And then you wind up. Like Dave Rubin, where exactly. Ben Shapiro is telling you to your face that he thinks you're evil for being a gay man and that he would never come to your wedding. And exactly. <laughs> you end and you, up like and you Dave just Rubin. Nod, and you nod along and be like, okay, well, I accept that. I understand. <laughs> you end up Dave Rubin. Yeah. Totally. And I could have, there was a path where that could have taken me down to Tim Pool, Dave Rubin. Sure. Uh, but, but I chose not to. And I never will. I never will because I know in my heart that those guys are fucking reactionary pieces of shit and I hate everything they stand for. It's ever against everything I believe in. Mm-hmm. But I get it, right? Because y'all when you constantly calling people gay or homophobic and racist and shit who mean well, maybe they're ignorant, maybe they don't they're not like totally they're not like ultra woke, but they mean well and they're definitely on your team. Like let's be honest. Like me and Dan, we're on your fucking team. There, if you don't think me and Dan are on your team, you have no allies. You have le- you, there's nobody left to fight for you. If you think that me and Dan are, are actively homo, like, I, I, again, there's like, okay, I understand I, I can hold some, like, homophobic, uh, like, to say, oh, you think it's okay to make that joke? It's like, I get it. I, you know, I, I won't do that again. I understand that it was offensive. But you, you, this label of homophobic and racist, if you think me and Dan are not on your team, then you fucking, there's nobody on your team. There really isn't. I'm sorry, but me and Dan are two very progressive dudes, very social conscious dudes. Dan more than me, who's been called a homophobe probably more time than his life than ever before. Is that right, Dan? Uh, probably the first time. <laughs> yeah, first time. Yeah. And, like, it's one thing to criticize someone, and it's another one, another thing to, like, outcast them, to fucking uh, exile them, which is what it feels like sometimes. I mean, we had people returning their Teddy Fresh because of the show. It's their choice. We give them a refund. I totally get it. But it's like, you want, you don't want to be associated with me anymore? I'm that fucking nuclear to you? Okay. I mean, it's a choice, but yeah, that, it's a choice, and I and we see. and I say, you know, and our policy is we're very sorry, you know, take your money back, and we do a full refund. We don't sit, we just are very polite and understanding. It's totally fine. I understand. I'm just saying that you got some of y'all think you're doing a good thing, genuinely, but I actually think that a lot of what's going on is making things much, much worse. Not all of you, because I understand. That's why I apologize, right? Like, there's a genuine space for an apology and understanding and learning. Some people take it way too fucking far. And it makes it way, way worse. That's why I showed Kat's tweet. I don't think she's... I think she's making things worse with takes like that. Like, I'm just sorry. I'm not choosing to recruit gay people for the specific purpose of offending them with horrific... Horrific! Stereotypes. Horrific? It's a strong word, don't you think? Just saying. It's a little hyperbolic. Just saying. It is very hyperbolic. It's a little hyperbolic. I mean, you gotta you gotta save words like horrific for shit that's horrific. You really do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just saying. Me making a, a offensive joke is not horrific. I'm sorry. I've seen way worse. I've seen way way worse. Okay, just being real, just saying. You know. Yeah, I'm glad you said though that um. You know. The 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 Tim Pool the the reactionary oh I got canceled so fuck all these people root is is not in your heart um. 
Because I think it's important to, to, to state that and, and let people know. And I mean, I feel the same way. No, no amount of people accusing me of being a homophobe will prevent me from advocating for their equality. You me know neither. I mean? Like... But some people... It sucks. it sucks to hear. Yeah, it's uh, painful. It's painful to hear, but um, I will <clears throat> fight just as hard for you as I did on Sunday as I will today. You know? Of course. Of course. Me too. But uh, but it, I see the path, you know, where you're like, there's this group of people with open arms like, one of us. Right. You're one Which of again, us. Again, it's because, yeah, I mean... I, I White I grievance, baby. Come get it. I don't think they ever felt as strongly uh as they claim as they may have once claimed to or whatever yeah you know like tim pool claimed like oh, they just I, I was uh, i was a liberal uh for years but they, dave they, rubin they've they've driven uh, dave rubin too yeah both of them i used to be a liberal and then people called me racist and now i hate myself for being gay <laughs> right bag of turd you know flaming turd bag <laughs> but anyways let me just think about that drama in the comments down below. Thank you to Advanced Global for sponsoring this video. Use code RICHBOX at checkout and check out their amazing gummies and so much more over there at AdvancedGlobal.com. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, love you so much.